person who made me feel worthless. I am a girl. I have long hair and I love pretty things. I wear makeup and I probably spend too much time at the mall, but that doesn't mean I'm a pushover. Most people look at me and assume I'm dumb because I'm nice. And I'm so tired of being pushed to the side because my heels are higher than, it, than they should be and I love to dress up. But I don't dress up for you or him or her and I don't wear makeup so you think I'm pretty. I do it for myself. And just because I spend more time playing with ladybugs than sticking it to the man doesn't mean my opinions don't matter. My worth is not measured by how many people are afraid of me. By the amount of hearts I break or the amount of times my heart is the one breaking. And when I said no, I meant it. And when I said stop, you didn't listen because you thought I didn't know what I wanted. But I knew I didn't want you. And you treated my body like it was on public display, like I was a statue for you to touch and admire, but I'm not a piece of artwork up for public discussion. And it is not my responsibility to pretend that I'm not constantly overwhelmed by one million different emotions, and it is not your job to ask me about it. Did anyone ask Joan of Arc if she was on her period when she went to war? No, because she was armed to the teeth with axe and sword. But you know what? I have armor too. It may be long skirts and flowers in my hair, but it's mine. And I will fight till my last breath if it means that my body is mine, her body is hers, and his body is his. And I don't need you to protect me. I don't need you constantly looking over my shoulder because you think what I'm doing is not my choice. And I'm not trying to make some speech about how I'm better than you because I'm not. We are all, all the same and you need to see that. She's not better than him, he's not better than her, and they're not better than them. Oh, and it's not up to you which parts of my body are mine and which parts of my body are yours. Because it's all mine and none of it is yours. And even if I let you close to it, doesn't mean I'm giving permission to touch it. And you need permission to touch it, to touch me. That is consent. And you didn't have it and you said that it's my fault. That it's my fault you couldn't control yourself and I believed you. But that was so long ago. And I am so much better now. I don't need you to make me feel important. I may have bowed my head in submission that night when, I told you, when you told me that I needed you, that I wanted you, but not anymore. Because I have armor. I can say no. Woo!